All right, guys, so I changed my mind. I went ahead and um, colored mine because it's going to be okay no matter what it ends up looking like. So um, I added some texture for the hair. I added some facial features and this cool little design. Um, you can add whatever you want to to your llama. Remember, it is going to be um, on your teacher's door for Christmas. So if you want to make it kind of Christmassy, um, your all's theme is Feliz Navidad. So it's kind of like a Mexican theme. So um, if you want to make it kind of Christmassy, that's fine. But there's lots of colors in the Mexican heritage, so whatever you want to do, all right? Um, now what you're going to need is, you, you all have a pencil or maybe a chopstick um, that has some warp thread on that chopstick, okay? So, um, or pencil. So what you're going to do is, it's taped, so you need to untape it, okay? And this thread is actually the thread that is going to go around your llama. Um, it's going to go vertically on your llama, okay? And we know that vertical is if we touch the ceiling, and then, or if we point to the ceiling, point to the sky, that is a vertical line, right? So um, my tape is a little hard to get off. So um, you're going to untape your warp thread. And I gave you way too much warp thread, and that is perfectly fine. I would rather you have too much than not enough, okay? So I'm going to start unraveling my warp thread. I'm going to flip my llama to the back, okay? Flip my llama to the back. And then... Actually, I'm going to mark, I'm going to use just anything you want to um, on our little bumps on our cardboard. I'm going to count one, and then I'm going to go over, there's one little dent, two, three, okay? Actually, I'm going to do two. So one, two, and then make a mark on the third one, okay? One, two, wait, one, two, three, one, two two, three, one, 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 two, three. You're going to do that from leg to leg. Okay. And we have these nice little marks. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put the first piece of your warp thread onto your llama, okay? And you're going to tape it. If you have tape, if you don't have tape, this is why I gave you this piece of paper, okay? If you don't have tape, you're going to cut a little piece of this piece of paper, okay? You're going to put glue on the entire thing, and then you're just going to lay it over top of it just like this. So you're kind of making your own piece of tape, okay? Um, with that. So, but I have tape, so I'm just going to use tape. So now, warp threads, they go around the loom. So this is our loom, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my llama, and I'm just going to let my pencil roll. And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to make sure that my warp thread matches up with that line every time. Okay? Matches up with the line that I've drawn every time. And if you have more or less warp threads or lines than me, that is totally fine too. Um, this is your artwork. This is not my artwork. So um, however it ends up, it will be beautiful. I just want to teach you the real technique of how to do this. So when you're putting the warps on your loom, you want to kind of pull it really tight. Okay? Make sure it's pulled really, really tight. And if you run out of warp like I just did, that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this last piece here, okay? Or if you don't have tape and you're using glue, make sure you use that bright piece of paper and use it as tape. Okay? And this one, I'm going to tape the piece vertically, okay? Now, mine looks a little wonky. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to come back and move some of my warps, okay? So I'm going to move this one over a little bit, and then I'm going to lay the tape back down. Now, all i got to do is just wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle these little things over. That way they are straight. See, just like that. All right.
there we go. Now we have our warp threads, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this extra. You can cut it off, or if you've left enough, you can tie it. Um, so I'm going to see if I can tie a knot. So when we tie a knot whenever we're weaving, it's just like we're tying our shoe. That first little step where you pull the threads together and you kind of make a crisscross. Then you pull a thread underneath and pull it over. And then it kind of looks like a little bow tie. Then you just do that exact same thing again. So except I like to take it around my finger. So it's just like we're tying our shoe. And it's the first step of tying our shoe. Not the bow part, but the other part. The very, very first thing. Okay. So we tie that knot. And then I like to put another piece of tape. Okay. So if you don't have tape, remember, you use this bright colored paper. Put glue on the back of it. And then you secure it just like you would a piece of tape. You're making your own tape. So I'm going to glue that where it's tied, and then I'm also going to glue or tape the top here. That way they don't move. And when I'm taping this, I'm going to tape in between each warp, okay? In between each warp thread. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's really, really secure. I'm going to do it again down here. Okay, make sure it's really, really secure. All right, awesome. So now I have warped my loom, okay? And then it's time to start weaving here in just a few minutes, um, which I cannot wait to show you how to do that. All right, thanks guys, see you in a little bit.